So, as we already saw, uh, what are the features that VirtualBox allows us to define for virtual machines, some networking stuff on the components and stuff like that. We are going to create a whole virtual machine uh, from scratch, okay? So, first of all, we are going to go to VirtualBox. We are going to click on new, okay? Uh, machine new, okay? It's going to open uh, a pop-up, okay? And I'm going to say Linux. And I'm going to select Linux as the type and the version. I'm going to say Ubuntu 22, okay? Because we are going to install Ubuntu Mate. The goal of this unit is that you finish creating your own virtual machine because you are going to need it uh, to make all the exercises on the on the next units. Uh, maybe you don't need it if you have already a, a Linux machine, but we uh, suggest you that you create your own virtual machine so when you do the exercises, you don't break anything on your machine. You can only break the virtual machine and if it's broken, you just uh, delete it and create another one and start again, okay? So you don't have to fix your computer. You only have to fix the virtual machine or create another one. So that way it's it's safe, everything that you do in the exercises, okay? Because, because it's isolated. So uh, we are in the, in the pop-up, it says to select the ISO image. Uh, an ISO image, it represents a file system, a whole file system. Usually it represents a CD or a DVD file system because um, so much time ago, not that long, but it looks like it was a long time ago. We use CDs and DVDs to boot up the machines without uh, operating systems and we install them, uh, the, the operating system from the CD or the DVD. Okay. Nowadays, uh, what? it's usually done is that you download an ISO image and it represents a bootable file system uh, of an operating system and you can boot up with that ISO uh, and install the operating system but in this case virtually but also you can create a pen drive uh, with that ISO image so you can boot up with the pen drive and many other ways okay uh, to download the ISO image, uh, we have to go, uh, I went to, to Ubuntu Mate, I looked for it, I clicked on download, I selected my 64-bit PC because I'm on a personal computer with 64 bits, and I said, I said the, the latest stable release, okay. Uh, but you can select whatever, but I'm going to use Jammy Jellyfish, okay? Because it's the latest stable and it's it's a pretty new uh, version, okay? So you have to download it. I already downloaded it. I'm not going to go through it. So we are going to go back to uh, VirtualBox, okay? And I'm going to select, to select the ISO image Okay, I'm going to go to uh, downloads, uh, 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 ISO, Ubuntu Mate, okay, and basically I'm going to say next. You have to create a username and password, uh, usually I put my username, but you can watch that there's a default uh, user. I'm a Martin uh, potato potato. Okay, and no more else. Nothing else. Uh, I'm going to say two gigabytes. This can be changed after on, but usually with two gigabytes for a Linux virtual machine, it's enough. And I'm going to say to CPUs, okay, well, uh, well, it doesn't matter too much, okay? Next, I'm going to say uh, 25 gigabytes since I'm not going to have a lot of things, only the operating system. 
and I'm going to do exercises on it, but I'm not going to download, I don't know, I don't know, movies or something super big. So I'm going to create it uh, from scratch. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Finish. And it's created. Okay. Uh, there's another case where in the mm, tutorial, uh, it doesn't ask you about the, uh, about the, I don't know how to say it, about the ISO image. Okay. In that case, you have to go to the settings of the, of the machine storage, uh, reload. Okay. Uh, what? It's, it's getting crazy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> ah, it, it already, it, it was boot up. Uh, I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to settings in case that in, in the tutorial, as I was saying, in case in the tutorial, it doesn't say anything about the, well, the, it's getting crazy. The, the <laughs> Uh, sorry, it's getting crazy. The, the virtual box. Okay. I'm going to show it here. Uh, you'll have to click on the settings, go to the storage and just change it. Okay. I'm going to, to try to do it. Okay. Wait a moment. And I, I want to show it to you. Here we are. Okay. I went to storage and you have to click on the EDE uh, device and you have to select your ISO image. Okay. And that's it. And later on, you have to click on start normal and I'm going to show it to you how it's going to be shown when it opens. Uh, I don't know why it's not opening. It's saying zero percent. Okay. I think it's opening already. Uh, wait, so I can show it to you. Okay. So now it's being shown. Okay. We are going to try an in or install. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. We are going to try or install uh, Ubuntu Mate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably in this video there will be cuts because I don't want you to get super bored uh, watching me doing nothing, basically, because uh, it probably it's going to be a bit slow uh, to install it and stuff like that. Okay. And usually it's just a matter of um, next, next, next and stuff like that. Okay. I think it's not working. I to, I'm going to reset it. I'm trying again. Okay. Okay, so now you have an example of what's important to know about it. Okay, uh, I forgot that you have to set two processors for installing Ubuntu Mate, and I think that way it's going to work. Let's hope it it is. 
I'm going to try again to install it. And let's see if it works. We are going to try or install. And there it is. Okay, now it's really booting up. It's kind of loading. You see that it's a slow process, okay? So be patient. Okay, so it's asking me about trying or install. This is because you can try it uh, with, from the CD lively, okay, without installing it. But we are going to install it, okay? We are going to install it in English. You can, this is just a, a suggestion, but usually I install everything in English and as this, this subject is in English, I'm going to go with it, with go with the flow. Okay, so install Ubuntu Mate. Uh, what I'm going to change is my keyboard layout because other way it's going to be pretty annoying. As you can see, I was writing an Enye, okay, and it didn't work at all. Uh, so I'm going to look for Spanish. So, Spanish. No. Spanish, Spanish, okay. I'm going to go back because I think I clicked and I didn't choose uh, Spanish as my keyboard layout. Okay, so yes, I said Spanish, Spanish. Okay, continue. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going with the minimal installation, since uh, I don't want Office software or games or media players. Since we're going to make uh, operating systems exercises and stuff like that. But you can choose whatever. Okay, uh, I'm going to say download updates. Okay. Um, basically, that's it. Okay, so now it's asking about if erasing everything and installing Ubuntu Mate. Uh, you can change some things and you can create partitions or blah 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 but we will look into it later on okay we are going to just install it super basically like, like next 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 and we will talk about partitions later on when you know more about operating systems and stuff like that okay it's asking me again I'm going to say continue And while it's installing, I think, uh, uh, let's see. No, I think it was, it's okay. Well, I think while, while it's installing, it's going to ask me some more things like my time zone, stuff like that. Uh, um, 
before the the previous question was for the for the super user uh, user okay basically uh, I'm going to say a Martin and I'm going to say the same potato and potato it says it's weak because it's weak but it doesn't matter right now okay continue and now it's installing okay I'm going to make a cut in here because it's going to take a while until it installs. Okay, so after a pause of roughly 40 minutes, uh, installation is, the installation is complete. So uh, I clicked on restart now. So you can see that the virtual machine is already working after restarting and I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Let's see when it works. Okay. Okay, now it's restarting. Okay, we have to re true. We have to remove the installation medium. We have to go to the preferences of the of the virtual machine and as I did before uh you have to unselect the ISO from the e storage, okay? Well, it's supposed to be out already. So I'm going to press enter. <laughs> so let's see. It's supposed to be restarting. Okay, it's doing its stuff. And there we are. Okay, I put potato as my password and I can log in and it's supposed to run uh, the operating system right now you can see that it's a bit slow uh, virtual machines obviously are slower than real uh, computers because they are virtualized on top of another system that has its own uh, requirements of hardware and execution cycles and stuff like that so they are usually way way slower Okay, because you have to run a whole operating system on top of another operating system. Okay, but they are super, super useful. Okay, and you can see that here it is my Ubuntu Mate, brand new. Okay.